Well, this is going to be my latest update. Um, those following me on Facebook already know that uh, I got my MRI results back. And it was kind of a mixed bag of good and bad. The good is, is that the regrowth tumor, that's the tumor that grew between surgery and uh, the standard of care, which was Timidar and radiation, has continued to shrink. Um, it started off at about, uh, I think it was like one, almost one inch by two and a half or something like that. And then now it's like a about a third of an inch by about five eighths or maybe a little bit smaller so much much smaller that's good so in the radiation area uh, that continues to uh, fight off the brain tumor however on the outside edge um, about 10 millimeters or so beyond where we uh, did the radiation which is usually a little bit bigger than the tumor bed area by about 20 millimeter, uh, something of that nature. And anyway, I've got a new tumor, which is uh, about 11 sixteens by, um, let's say maybe about a half inch by 11 sixteens, half inch by three uh, quarter. So now it's decision time. We did, uh, I did start the uh, second study drug and that one is the uh, Keytruda, and uh, that's an um, immunotherapy drug. Now, typically with Keytruda, it works better if it is given before surgery and then uh, after surgery, while the body is having its immune response to the surgery, it kicks into high gear and appears to work much, much better than if you were just to take it after surgery and not have it before. So I guess in a weird kind of way, that's kind of a plus because most likely I will have to do surgery. And I just need to decide whether or not I want to do radiation again or if I'm gonna have them uh, put in something called gamma tiles, which are a collagen, um, kind of a collagen grid with cesium. And uh, that takes place of the radiation. But that's in place immediately from surgery and knowing how I responded after the last surgery and grew a new tumor, it might be a good idea to go ahead and do the gamma tiles um, and I already have the Keytruda in my system, which is also a radio, uh, what they call radio sensitizing drug as well, plus the Lymparza that I'm taking, which is also radio sensitizing. So those basically amplify the, the radiation effect. Um, so I meet with my neurosurgeon, uh, this coming Friday. Um, my oncology team is having a, uh, a, a peer, uh, brain tumor meeting on Monday where they, he talks to, um, his, uh, brain tumor or actually I should say neuro-oncologist peers, along with my radiation oncologist. I think my surgeon may be involved uh, in that uh, conversation as well, since he's a neurosurgeon. If not, there'll be some other neurosurgeons in there as well. And they will discuss what we're doing, uh, the study drugs that I'm on, which is Limparza and uh, Keytruda, and I'm not doing the Temidar. So... With that being said, I guess when I get more information, I'll give everybody an update. But at the moment, um, I wasn't surprised. Um, Limparza uh, is, you know, that was kind of a, I gotta say a long shot. It was a, um, and it may work in combination with the other, uh, uh, with the Keytruda, but we were trying to take advantage of my uh, BRAC2 mutation and uh, and try to keep the uh, uh, the DNA from repairing and if it can't repair it can't reproduce um, so that was the uh, that was the intention on that and then the Keytruda the idea behind that is is it's uh, it blocks the pdl one expression in the tumor which is supposed to uh, open the 
cancer cell up to the immune system so that it is recognized as a uh, as a defective cell to be taken out. So that's kind of the idea behind it. Apparently, from what I understand, the PDL1 expression acts like a cloaking device so that the immune system does not see the cancer cell as a problem. So anyway, I will give everybody an update as I learn a little bit more, but that is where we are right now. So continued prayers, please. I really, really do appreciate everyone's uh, prayers and their concerns. Uh, I can't even, Joni and I can't even begin to tell you how much we appreciate everyone who has contributed to the GoFundMe account. Um, I'm not exactly sure what we would have done. Uh, and uh, without everyone's help, it's gotten us up to this point, and I really, really, really appreciate it. And this is, you know, that I, again, everybody's generosity is just, uh, it's just blown me away. I mean, it, it just shows you how special uh, my friends and family are and uh, how blessed I am uh, because, you know, you don't go through any of these journeys. Um, for that matter, you don't go through life without faith. But you definitely don't face a, a um, you know, a terminal cancer, as it's considered, uh, an incurable cancer without um, faith because <laughs> it's, you know, you you can't be afraid of uh, of the potential end result, and uh, you know I know where I'm going to go. Um, I'm not in a hurry to get there. I still want to watch uh, my son graduate college, and and uh, like to see my grandchildren uh, continue on. I've got uh, some grandkids, uh, granddaughter that's going to be graduating this year, and I've got a um, so I'm maybe. Uh, not uh, well. I say this year. It's actually she's in her senior year now. So, and my son's in college, and I'd like to see him. You know, get married someday and have children as well. So, um, anyway, not to mention the fact I kind of dig Tony. I don't. She is an incredibly special person. So, um, she is one of my greatest blessings in life. So, everyone, take care. Thank you so much for your prayers, and I will try to keep everybody updated as much as I can.